good good morning to you. Welcome. It's Martin, Jeff, and the Farm Chick coming to you high atop the Eagle Building in beautiful downtown Goodland. Our show here on Eagle Cable Channel 10. I say that. Uh, KLOA AM Radio, and we stream from our Facebook page, Martin, Jeff, and the Farm Chick. On the World Wide Web, web. Our show has been brought to you by Eckland Insurance, LLC, Northwest Tech, Elliott's Home Furnishings, Goodland Sonic Drive-In, and The Insurance Agency. Ladies and gentlemen, on my left, it's the farm chip. It is. Martin. Except, uh, on my right, it's <laughs> Jeff. Good morning, Martin. And, as usual, I'm in the middle. And it's, it's and good to see you all again. I know. Well, good to see you. Just for back. So long. It's been it's sports season for you. Kind of, yeah. And kind of for you, too. Yeah. I'm not actually right? doing the sports. Is Gentry in, jun- in junior high? Yes. Yeah, we're doing some great sports. She's doing junior high sports. Oh, and, and high school and sports. High school. And high school. That's when, boy, it really gets busy when you got to do both high school and junior high. But it's good busy. It's a good busy. I enjoy it. I've learned to enjoy it now that I can see the end of the tunnel. Mm-hmm. You know how that is when you're... Once you're first kid, you're a little bit like, oh my gosh, we have to drive here again. But when you can see that you've only got maybe four or five years left. Now, you were talking about, on our last show, you were fessing up that, yeah, when you get down to the last kid, you kind of... <laughs> You kind of think, ah, do we really want to... Maybe we won't go. Maybe, no, no maybe, maybe it was you who was saying that. No, it was me. It was you? It was no. me. I'm the I have a much better up. attitude than I'm he does. I'm dumb enough to say it. Give him a $10 bill and say, you know, take care of your life. Well, there's a little yeah. bit of that, too. But. Well, yeah. You know, it's junior high sports. I, I like junior high sports, but right. it's junior high sports. It is. Is junior high sports still the kind of participation... Metal type well, of, sort of yeah. no, competition, not really. or do they really compete? They really compete. They, they do compete. It's just I think what ha- here's what I here's my theory on the subject. When you have had kids who have played at the high school level, and then you go from say Nolan mm-hmm. playing varsity ball all last year, right? And now you, now you're back at seventh grade, right? It's a little bit of a mm. a little bit tough to watch. You but still cheer seen, for him. Should, you I'm still proud, want him to I'm succeed. So proud of my son. He's you still a, enjoy watching it a little bit. But it should it's be just, just looked at as a third third chance. Well, I know. I mean, my kids kind of all ran together, so they were all going see, on it together, and then they're gone. There's completely. a difference. You got to serve your sentences concurrently. <laughs> yeah, I have to serve my sentences consecutively. <laughs> you got a longer term, and uh-huh. oh. yeah. So you know, if we were, all, if it's all, if we we're all jumbled together and we're all doing things and stuff like that, but it's. It's this one at a time deal that I got going. My kids are all six years apart. Yeah. So, so you, you, you're not, maybe you are, farm chick, at, at the point where one spouse has to go here. Oh, yeah. One, and the other, yeah. you're. Did that yesterday. Yeah. One to Burlington, one to Colby. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the time, in fact, it's kind of rare when we get to, this year it'll be kind of rare because we've got a JV or an eighth grader. So they kind of play similar days or not the same day. Right. Mondays we're going different ways. But anyway, it's all good. Now I'm 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 doing the flag football circuit this right. year. Got I to do. see oh, yeah. the young the youngest uh, six year old play flag football. Uh, kind of an interesting concept of kind of running around, <laughs> running the wrong directions mm-hmm. and things yes. like that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's a learning. Experience. There's a lot of that. Going I don't on. miss yeah. that. No, I don't either. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I don't miss soccer. And the soccer, soccer is the in same the way. freezing cold. Yeah, or at least they play them this. Now they play the soccer's on the softball fields right when they used to play them up there at north school and the field was a little bit bare mm-hmm. there's nothing to slow that ball down <laughs> and it would just go forever <laughs> and ever. forever <laughs> oh anyway and, then, and you know and, and not a lot of understanding of the at least when my kids are going through not a lot of understanding of the rules and where you need to play at so just follow the ball it's called the ball follow the ball and, and kick it was interesting that I mean I understand that with soccer I don't understand the rules I don't know how the kids but, right. but now they have they, the, they, now they have the soccer players at the tech college right. helping out which that, helps out a lot uh, that's great but flag football is different I, I would think you would understand the rules a little more and would go the same direction but not necessarily yeah. no not necessarily can't expect too much right <laughs> well and I mean I mean there's a chance for everybody to learn that's what it's about right I, I'm not I'm not right saying you have to come out there knowing exactly what's going on and all the time. It but. was amazing. The game came out to a uh, mutually agreed to tie. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> everything really works out good. Yeah. 
<laughs> Everybody gets a green ribbon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, did you ever hear any of those green ribbons, Martin? Mm-hmm. Well, we didn't have that kind of competition when we were that mm-hmm. age. We we were playing out on the sand lots and backyards and mm-hmm. stuff. On there our own. a lot of participation ribbons. You know, you get blue yeah. for first and red for second. Never, never. White for third, and mm-hmm. then green for participation. Right. <laughs> I have a closet full of green. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very little whole, blue. Huh? Whole, whole scrapbook full of green ribbons. No blue. That's how come I know what color they are. <laughs> I don't remember seeing green ribbons at any. No, I they're not really that. In, they're not really that around fair, that much. They don't give them out for our fair. No, they don't give them out the fair. This is more no. of the Rocky Welton wrestling tournament. Oh, okay. so Rocky used to have a used to have like a four or five week camp, and then at the end he had a wrestling match. Mm-hmm. And that was embarrassing for all involved. <laughs> Did I ever tell you my Rocky Welton story? <laughs> no. Uh, do you want to hear it? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, of course. It, sure. People who know Rocky Welton. So, you see, to, when you had Rocky Welton in, in You had to know who Rocky class, was. He, you know, it was social studies or something like he that. He was a wrestling coach. Social science. Yes, he was a wrestling coach. But very successful. Successful. In the classroom, he just liked to ramble off onto different tangents. And we loved it. It was about we wrestling. We loved it. Wrestling, mm-hmm. anything. He was telling a story about uh, the Denver Post. He was getting the Denver Post, and he didn't want to get the Denver Post. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, no, he was getting the Denver Post. But they were sending it to uh, Rocky Walton. Oh. Rocky Walton. And he he told the deliverer no this this my, my name's not Mark Rocky so finally he wrote a letter to him and he goes dear Denver pissed uh, <laughs> I'm just calling to tell you that you writing to tell you that you have spelled my name wrong yeah. so <clears throat> I love that story he told We're, that in the class to the course. kids and did they change his name probably I, not I probably I, I don't remember that's a good one that's so, a good one that's back so, when they wrote letters and there were newspapers right yeah when, right. when I was going through school and Rocky was my teacher he had Heather his youngest daughter was Learn the fireman's carry. Wow. I know. That's one of the things he had to tell us. He was never my teacher, but I know he's kind of a legend around yeah. here. So. Uh, well, he's he's Fantastic. also my neighbor. He's also a neighbor. Yes. So I got to spend a lot, lot of summers with Rocky Walton. And then... Uh, I know the chump spent a lot of time at their house as well and yeah. speaks about them a lot. Yes. So. The chump and I were yeah. over there quite a bit. Yeah. So Almost as revered probably in Garden City mm-hmm. as in, in Hall Abilene. Hall coach, isn't Abilene. he? And yeah. He's just... So, Good guy. Yeah. So, uh, so let's see. We're here. It's uh, second to the last week of September. Oh my gosh! Where's it going? Time yeah. gone. October is here. Going to be you know, a couple of weeks. No, I'm not ready. Like talking about holidays already and Thanksgiving and things like that. Yeah. Fall. So, this is a great time of year, but it's. So you got your garden all wrapped up. The end of it. Yeah, Tidy, still cranking out tomatoes. Like I know, ours crazy. too. Just, and peppers. And it's well, okay. Peppers. And you need to get rid of any? I do enjoy tomatoes. No. no, nothing. You guys are canning, oh, well, aren't I you? I should have brought you. I've got a, these beautiful little uh, delicious, uh, we call them Fourth of Julys. They're not full size, but they're just snack size. They're called, really, they're called Fourth tomatoes. of Julys, but it's actually after Labor Day. I guess. Yeah, they I don't care. What not around called. here. You don't get any tomatoes. I love tomatoes. I love to slice a garden tomato, a little salt and pepper. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Just eat it for lunch. Crazy salt. Crazy salt's really good. Uh, so to answer your question, got a big bag, a giant bag of beets. Going to do some pickled beets. Ooh, that's exciting. Are you excited about that? <laughs> I'm excited about that. That's exciting. <laughs> After this gardening year, this is the craziest gardening season I've ever had for a variety of reasons, starting with planting everything a month late because of the weather. Rain. Do you remember mm-hmm. the rain? And do I remember the rain? Crazy good mm-hmm. or crazy bad? Uh, both. Just different. Oh. Like farming. Just, just like farming. farming. Yeah. You know. Just got to get to the end of it yeah. a little bit. Just, you know, we're trying to drill wheat today. It's hard to drill wheat when it's 90 degrees and the wind's blowing 40 miles an hour. That's It's hard to get excited yeah. about drilling wheat. And the ground is dry. And the ground is dry. But this weekend, it's supposed to rain. Everybody I know is kind of kind of getting started drilling wheat, but they're kind of waiting for this rain yeah. from this weekend. So, How late can you wait? That runs. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you got to have it. It's got to germinate middle, and it's got to come up, right? Right. Middle of October. Okay. Yep. Wheat's got to come up and then it's got to freeze. That's part of the part of the part of it. Vernalize. Is what it's called. What was that again? Vernalize. Vernalize. I Vernalize. Think. Yeah. I you think. sure it's not kernelize? <laughs> now that I've said it out loud on the radio, it's like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> really? Did my radishes <laughs> vernalize <laughs> when they came up? Still said something my dad told me and it's completely wrong. <laughs> completely the wrong Just word. Just to get you to shut up. <laughs> yeah, really, really. It's called vernalize, Jeff. No, it's 
completely the wrong word. Cause Let's have would. everybody out there send us an email <laughs> no, or, or a stop. letter. Comment on Facebook about yeah, vernalize, if that's a real word or not. Right. Is, I know, is Jeff said, pulling no. your leg? Or Internalize? I, as soon as I said it out loud, uh-huh. right, then you went, mm. I'm hearing my dad say, mm, no. no, that's not what it really was yeah. That's not what I was talking about. <laughs> I know, really. That's all right. No, I do know it has to freeze. Let's just say that. I know it has to come up, it has to freeze <laughs> before it'll produce anything. Well, last Sunday was a day that made you feel like you it fall was cold. is really coming. Mm-hmm. You know? it was, I, I loved it, but I thought, yeah. now. Nah, all it takes one is one of fine, those days, and then I'm it, ready. I'm like, ugh, it it's going to be cold. I'm going to be so cold. It's going to be cold all the way to March. Did you like your so, fireplace? No. On Sunday? But We thought no. about it. Yeah, I thought about turning the furnace on. Don't yeah. like cold. I'm but it was a great day to stay everything. home and watch football. Yep. Actually, did a little work in the garden, but uh, we're going to get that one day. Soon Let's get back enough. to the '90s. We've had '90s this week, and yeah, yeah. So, do you know a sinkhole showed up on the farm chick's farm? And uh, this is an omen. This is okay. some kind so of thing. What about it do for I? Years. What am I afraid of? You. The most the number one thing you're afraid of are sinkholes. What's number two? Sinkholes. Earthquakes. Asteroids. Oh, asteroids. Asteroids. Okay. So you know what's coming. <laughs> That's sinkhole. Sinkhole is going to land in your asteroid. The only thing is, <laughs> with, with my sinkhole. sinkhole, it's on my Instagram account if you have it. Yeah, it's not really a sinkhole, though. I the mean, only thing is. is, I keep calling it that. It's not a sinkhole. It's not. What it is, is it? a cord pathway to H-E double hockey sticks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, no. It is an oh, abandoned, it's not? It's an abandoned well that oh, came in. Oh, okay. So that's a little bit different than a sinkhole. Okay. I mean, sinkhole is... Yeah, no, that's no. right. Oh, the, 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 well the thing somebody about it, here's the up. facts about it yes. that make it really creepy. It does look like you someone just cored it, doesn't it? I know, it, it does. Oh, it looks like a perfectly round... That's fascinating. What? Six foot diameter? Yeah, it's Maybe big. a little more? Mm-hmm. Hole. And the chump dropped a hundred foot tape measure down it and... Mm-mm. That's 10 stories. Okay, so I would not even get close enough to throw a 100-foot tape down. So he <laughs> took me out there one day, and I can I was scared because I didn't want to get close. And he went and took a selfie stick and hung his phone over there and kind of lit it up. It's yeah. like someone just cord. But anyway, yes, we think it's like an, they tested for oil back 40 yeah. years ago or something, and now it, with all the rain, it has opened up. I had one show up on my farm also one time, and it, mine is actually, you could actually see the old casing. It was an old, okay. old, old windmill uh, well, and so the casing was there, and, it's, and it, it kind of fell in for about four feet for about a year, and then one day I went out there, and it was 100 feet deep, okay, and so I called a friend of mine and said, you know, bring, bring your dump truck out, and let's dump some dirt down this thing, and he told me he thought, thought I was crazy. Until he got out there, and then he got nervous about it. So, he, so we had to dump the dirt on the edge, and then he took his skid loader and just kind of kept pushing it over yeah. into it because he's afraid his truck was going to cave. Yeah, in. that's what I'm yeah. afraid yeah. of. And I my other so. thing was, that, you know, it, because w- he knew where it was, we knew where to look for it. But if you were, j- if he was just out walking in the field, or if someone was out there just walking, you would not, you would come up on it and yes. it would be there. It's, it's that. And what if you had been there when it? gave loose and you oh. fell you might what not if? have I am, found again. what if i am more afraid of um i can't definitely because i'll walk through the corn right and not you can't really see where you're going in the cornfield yeah what right. if that was in the oh, middle yeah. of or i always was afraid of like hunters um being out there yes. because you would just come up on it i mean it wouldn't be yes i mean if you were no. with somebody this you might hole, have a chance but if no you, if you you're by yourself no you wouldn't this hole happens well. to be in a corner that's been you know worked so it's, but, but no. if it was in the middle if of the you field, fell you'd in never there, see it. You, you would never be and able to get there's out. There's no cell phone reception down there. Mm-mm. Even if you got a buddy with you. Okay, I'm wait. just telling you. That'd be well, creepier. Let's yeah. stop talking about it. You don't mm-hmm. think if you fell into it and, and you reached bottom, hoping no. that it's bottom dry. Bottom is like 10 stories. Bot- we don't even know where bottom's 100 at. 100 feet is. Uh, bottom is water. One story is 10 feet, right? About yeah. mm-hmm. a so nine how foot do you, room. How do you expect to fill it in? Well, that's what I have to do. We're just going to keep throwing rocks in it. Don't yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> One you, clot at a time. <laughs> you may have to build a metal barrier around it and forget it. I don't no. want to talk about it. It gives if me anxiety. We filled ours in. Ours doesn't come back. We filled ours in. But it took a lot of dirt. But you're t- you said you 10 stories. Chump, well, ten, 100 feet is a 10 yeah. stories. Well, well The chump, you know, he likes talking about aliens. <laughs> so you think it's an alien <laughs> hole? He thinks mm-hmm. that the aliens So do. it's like a crop circle. Like the aliens cord the earth. Oh, yeah. To see if this was a good place. 
<laughs> just settled and went, nope, too dry. Uh-huh. It took a, they took a soil sample, uh-huh. took it yes. back to Mars, and yes. checked her out. There you or go. there was like a deer standing there, and they were hungry, and they just like zapped it, and it went oh. down to the <laughs> Their laser. <laughs> we thought of all sorts of things. Oh, but no, no, it's a, it's an oil thing. Yeah, I know. Or, it's not, or, a, or a well. A or well a, some sort. So, it, know, but does, creepy does, nonetheless. Does the chump watch, there's a TV show about alien, uh, ancient aliens. Ancient does aliens. Does, does he watch that? watch that? Does he watch it? Are you kidding me? <laughs> does a... I've never yeah. watched it, but I've... What's that? I was going to say, does yeah. the bear, but no, that yeah, wouldn't be on radio. Does okay, bear, let's talk about the earthquake. Does the bear <laughs> crawl in a sinkhole? How about the How about the earthquake in Mexico City? That is crazy. Scary. And yeah. the hurricanes the, and the... The exploding buildings. Yeah, the Mexico City thing. You know, I have some family there, and they're all okay, but it, it's, you know, earthquake's kind of a scary deal. You yeah. don't feel... You don't know... You know, th- we've had this discussion before, haven't we, about tornadoes and hurricanes and earthquakes, yeah. oh my. Yeah. And that you kind of get a warning with a tornado and a hurricane, but an earthquake, you're just, just sitting there having, just having lunch. Tea. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, my aunt was in a building with her friend, fourth, fourth story, and she said they were having lunch, and the wall started, it started, of course, started shaking, but her friend had just had knee surgery, so she couldn't move. No. My aunt's 80 years old, so they just waited it out in the at the dining room table, and she said the walls cracked. And Wow. So uh, how many how, how many earthquake how long have your aunt's been through? Probably quite a few. Yeah, I was actually in an earthquake in Mexico City years ago when Grace was a year old. Was she was she in the eighty five earthquake? I mean, was she? Yep, does, she mean, was there, and and it happened on the anniversary of yes. the eighty five earthquake. Yeah, the which earthquake is, that happened wow. yesterday happened quite bizarre in eighty five. Yeah, because it just got on having drills. Mm-hmm. That's why I think it's kind of amazing. Of course, mm-hmm. it wouldn't be like um. It, you would have that drill and then the real earthquake would come and you wouldn't think oh my gosh this is just a drill because everything is shaking it would so. be very surreal wouldn't yeah. it mm-hmm. but the videos on twitter of buildings exploding and 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 falling in and anyway it's quite sad i think yeah. we're gonna i think we're going to have some probably pretty sad reports out of that yeah. city so not good i just want to experience i've never had have you ever experienced any well kind you of know earthquake? we've had earthquakes here I've but never, never noticed them. I never I haven't either. Uh, well, Oklahoma's becoming quite the. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that, that one a couple uh, years ago. That actually, we could fill it up here. I I was out of town, but yeah. Would it, you think you'd realize what it was? I mean, for I mean here, I mean here they're not going to be like like yeah. one in Mexico City, right? You already mm-hmm. think they're not going to be. But do you think if you were walking down the street and that all of a sudden you felt like a like you stumble a little bit you think oh that was an earthquake or you think or i'm drunk i don't know i would think that yeah i don't know i'm old and i'm getting dizzy you know yeah the one i was in we were sitting at a table and the chandelier started shaking above us really rocking so we need to get out the building so did but besides that you couldn't tell you're in it i mean the workers were all running around saying get out of the building well no they knew but i don't know if i realize like you're saying i don't know if that immediately in my head i thought Oh, this is an earthquake. Yeah. No, because we're not you know, used to being programmed that right. way. I don't High think. winds. Last Friday, September 15th, was the first anniversary of the hailstorm a year ago. Which was devastating. Which, weren't there 75 mile per hour winds with that storm? I wasn't here for that. I just got I phone calls not. from my wife. I believe there was. You know, my. With driving the hail. So <laughs> there are hurricanes we hear about with 75 mile. So we experienced that here, mm-hmm. blowing rain. We know what a hurricane kind of feels like. We don't have the oceans and we the, know what horrible water, storms fi- like feel that. like we do for sure right. and when those hailstorms are hitting your windows I, it's at, a, it's the a, wind you know and, and it's also the the just the ominous look of the clouds when they're coming in right it's, i mean it's the ant- anticipation of the storm mm-hmm. and also the storm itself but that you know it's coming there's nothing you can do about there's it there's nothing you can do mm-hmm. that's it's all respect to, it's you got to respect mother nature mm-hmm. i just there's just nothing you so, can do about things like that but I do not believe, may I say, that it's God's trying to tell us anything. I, I keep hearing this, that, no. that these things are happening because God's, you know, I don't, I don't believe, you know, I don't want to get on that, but I don't believe in a God like that that's... Well, especially it's been no. happening for eons. It's been happening. It's, it's <laughs> a strange, yes, I'll admit, seems like a lot of things all at once, but... but God created the earth with an atmosphere and a core and and rock and things that can happen and 
And, it it, just and we it know happens. more. It happens. We hear more because of things like Twitter and Facebook. So we hear it immediately and we know of it and, and weather forecasts. So we're, it's more ominous than it used to be. We were talking about that the other yeah. day. Do, do any of us step out of the door without looking at our weather apps? I know. You know, mm-hmm. we never used to do that. or, But... um. No, because it used to be they issue a thunderstorm warning for Sherman County, right? And you'd have to go outside and look. But yeah. now you just go on radar and think, oh, it's going to miss Goodland. Yeah. Not hitting us. I, I just added that. So. Well, the weather, the weather Channel, I hadn't had the Weather Channel app. It alerts me when there's a light shower about to hit, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Or lightning yeah. within four miles. Right. Those yeah. are always there's like, a storm in your area. Mm-hmm. So, but, Lightning has struck oh, within four miles of your location. Right. Anyway, I think we should be good people all the time, not just because there's storms. And, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'll agree with that. And I think God probably thinks that, too. I'm telling you, you need to watch the movie 2012. No. Now, the sinkhole may be a sign from God. Yeah, well, that's right. I'm just yeah. kidding. Well, you, you, 2012 is coming on. I hate to tell you. I'm I more, never, well, it, it doesn't matter if it's come or gone. I mean, <laughs> it's just, it's, it, there's some interesting aspects of it. Most of it is goofy, but, there, you know, the, the scenes at uh, Yellowstone... You know, it could be a little okay, bit. Okay, that's the other thing that's really starting to creep me out is the whole Yellowstone geyser thing. Yeah. Why? Because they say that thing could blow any second. Well, it, it, <laughs> it is. It's a volcano is what well, it is. Really? Under that's the what earth. Yellowstone is. There's Why? Is there something that happened up there? That I've been no, but they just say oh. that. The, yeah, there's, been oh. some, there's been some activity going on oh, there. Oh, I didn't know that. I've been in my own world. I'm just trying to, you know. One day at a time. Too much Game of Thrones. Yeah. That's why I, I eat the ice cream with the caramel sauce, because you never know. That's right. <laughs> That's what I think. Go ahead and have the... That's a good... I thought of that. <laughs> I'm going to... Next time I do that, I'm going to say, well, because you, you never know. I'm going to have this. you got to live your life. I'm going to yep. have this. Every day. Go ahead and have that other Snickers, because you know, never know. Uh-huh. Uh, I love the... Uh, oh, I'm trying to think of the candy bar that's so crunchy and kind of a... The crunch bar? No. <laughs> yeah, the one, the one says crunch on the top Heath of it. Heath bar. A Heath bar oh, concrete. Yeah, yeah. Those are, or scores. Heath bar concrete Same from thing. Sonic Drive-In is, is my favorite. No, my gosh, no. At Sonic is the concrete, the caramel Snickers concrete. Uh, Heath those con- I like those concretes because of the texture. They're yeah. kind of smooth. Well, they have a, a pumpkin pie concrete now that I'm <gasps> kind of curious about. On a happy note, all the pumpkin flavored stuff is O-U-T out. Uh-huh. Yummy. I yeah. love this time of year pumpkin because spice. of all the pumpkin yeah. spice. Not just the Starbucks stuff, which, by the way, Martha Stewart said is for, is very basic. Yeah. The just pumpkin basic. spice latte. <laughs> she actually used it. Just basic. She said that's just basic. Um, what does that mean? Meaning it's like simple. She kind of poo poos the pumpkin spice latte. Well, like, ugh, well, all she, you just. Can she makes she her make own, a better probably. one? I bet she can. I bet she can. She, she can core a pumpkin. <laughs> and some Cora spice. I don't know where that comes from. <laughs> Didn't isn't the, Martha Stewart kind of overshadowed now by the uh, the farm lady, the cow lady, which pioneer woman, pioneer mm-hmm. woman. That's it, <laughs> cow lady. <laughs> She's. Uh, I like her more. Who, who's Who, kind Martha? of pioneer woman? Yeah, is and she, I have nothing in common with her. But I enjoy her quite yeah, a bit. Really? <laughs> but I love her. You mean you're not making stuff for her? I mean, dr- I'm just, Drummond, I just the... watch her and What's say, her no, Drum last... is her husband. Drum. Yeah. No. Drummond. That's no, that's not name. right. That's her last name. That's her last name. Dang. Yeah. What is her name? Not you Drew. You said that, now I can't remember. No. Link. Link Drummond? <laughs> Link or. Something like Link that. letter. <laughs> Later. Yeah, no. Anyway. Or cowboy. It's kind of cowboy. I, you know He's a cowboy. Okay, this is the thing yeah. I don't like. He's about a real cowboy. I watch it a whole lot, but she's always smiling. <laughs> yes. She's very happy. always smiling. That's she's kind of very bugs happy. me too. Hey, yeah. they're out working cattle. They have a mercantile. I know. That'd be Let cool. chop up the okay, garlic. Now I've heard, oh, you, I cut my finger. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Really, yeah. Really, oh, blood spurting everywhere. Oh, isn't that fun? <laughs> don't make fun of, yeah. don't make fun of Bree, Drew. What's her name? Something like that. Bree Drummond. Re, re, we, uh, we're big fans here. Just call yeah, her. Huge yeah, fans. Yeah, we, we watch her all the time. What's her so, name? But, okay, I understand. Maybe I know this is probably something else I, I think I know, but maybe I don't. That you know, they sold their ranch. Do you know they sold their ranch? No, and they I heard that. Time. And a, like a guy from Scott City owns it. Really? Or Garden City? That's a good thing to know. Well, I don't know if that's true or not. I want to know. Somebody told me that. Does he cook? Know. I don't know. Oh. He just bought the ranch. He didn't buy the. I feel it, this is this. The celebrities I like are ones like her, where I feel like we could be friends. <laughs> like she'd be way too happy for you. I but I She'd feel like she would 
find me funny. Like, no. like the couple in Waco, the, uh, what's, what's the name of that one? Yeah, yeah. Um, Joanne. Joanne Gaines. Joanna and Chip. Gaines. Yeah. Chip and Joanne. Chip, Chipper? Chip, just like a guy. He's fun. I know. You know? I know. You could, just like you would He's know. Funny. Mm-hmm. Right. He's goofy. Right. Yeah. Jimmy Fallon, I always put. I also put him in that category. <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker. That's not I weird. put her in that category. I mean, oh, come on. Sarah Tom Jessica Hanks. Parker, Tom like Hanks. Yeah, Rita Western Wilson. Western Kansas people you find walking down the street here. I think yeah. she could I be. Think so. I think she could sit down I the table. I think she would fit right in. I think, I think Tom and Rita could. <laughs> Our friends. <laughs> We've often talked about having dinner with Tom and Rita and Sarah. Sarah and, uh-huh. and uh, what's his name? Uh, Robert, Matthew. Yeah, Matthew. Mm-hmm. Our friends, Sarah and Matthew. If and you could have dinner with anybody tonight, who would it be? Living. Living. Because we all know. And don't, yeah, you can't Living. say. Oh, goodness. Uh, Call him up. Come over, have dinner. Tom Hanks. Oh, okay. See, I Tom come. and Rita. Tom, See, everybody. Yeah. Tom and Rita. Oh, that's, what, that's Tom yeah. and Rita you were that's talking about. That's Tom and about. Rita. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, maybe, let me think about that. Because he would like to find somebody a lot. Tom is so down to earth. He's just like one of us. Somebody more like fascinating. You know well. and interesting. <laughs> like you know no, that but well. he'd be funny. Uh, Kim Jong-un or something no, like that. You know, please. Talk a little sense into him. I have something. a f- friend, friend there. That, yeah, what are you going to say? <laughs> Get a haircut? <laughs> yeah. You, first of all, don't worry. I saw I saw on Twitter that Dennis Rodman's going to go over and talk to him. Okay, yeah. there you go. And settle things. So we're all right. We're, we're fine. We're all right. We're if, fine. If he talks him out of it, then we should make him we're president. Fine. I don't know. Um, yeah. No. So, whoops. Anyway, yeah. Little, I don't know who will. I don't know who I'll have to dinner tonight. But, but probably somebody not who's, who's not Hanks. living. Uh, that would be very easy for me. It's Thomas Jefferson. Okay. <laughs> and he would have an interesting meal, let me tell you. He's, you know. He would, he would bring you fresh beans. He would be easy. He wouldn't bring you no pickled beets. He'd bring you fresh beans. He loved beets. food. He grew his food. He, Did he have real teeth? Yes. Yeah, it was George Washington that had Are you sure? wooden teeth. Yes. I okay. Mean, supposedly. Yes. Okay. How do you know so sure? Well, because I listen to the Thomas Jefferson Hour oh. every Sunday afternoon. Oh, do you listen to that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I do too. Uh-huh. Love it. Mm-hmm. Does it have to be a celebrity? Yeah, yeah. Let's this homework. Next show, we're gonna come back with who we our table. If we had a table of six, who would be at our table? We're gonna think about we it. Have to include our spouses. No. Okay. okay. No, we eat with them every night. Okay. We might mention in a couple of weeks. We're also gonna have go back on the road. We haven't been on the road yet for for quite a while. We're gonna go to the insurance agency for oh. during homecoming week and That's talk to fun. the to the ladies there. That'll be a fun show. So she's gonna have cookies. She told me the other day she's going to have cookies. Oh, really? Well, we'll come back. Ooh, at least times. I think she told me that. She's not. You better get to cooking, Roxanne. <laughs> Probably cookies. <laughs> so lots to come this fall right here on Martin, Jeff, and the Farm Chick. Thanks, kids, for coming in. Mm-hmm. Have a great week. Mm-hmm. Our show is brought to you by the insurance agency, Elliott's Home Furnishings, Goodland Sonic Drive-In, Northwest Tech, and Eckland Insurance LLC here on Eagle Cable Channel 10, KLOE AM Radio, streaming on the web from our Facebook page. Like us at Martin, Jeff, and the Farm Chick. Have a great week. We'll see you next week.